Welcome back, my friends. My name is Eric. This is Mel7 Gaming, and today we are going to look at mech switching, uh, or the lack thereof. So, uh, in theory, the key for mech switching is the letter Y, as in, why doesn't it work? Um, and I am pushing it, and nothing is happening. We are not going anywhere. We are not changing anything. Um, I've hit it about 800 times. Can, can we hear it? Looks like maybe it's coming through on the mic. Nothing's happening. So what we're going to do is we're going to back out of the game completely here. We're going to say confirm, and eventually we'll get out of there. And we're going to go to the uh, actual website here. So we're at MW5 Mercs News. This happens to be uh, the launch Intel update. And if we roll down here, you'll see mech switching uh, should default to the letter Y. Here's a temporary fix, file explorer, enter the, click the address at the top. There's a kitty cat. I don't know if she'll show up. She's a little bit, a little bit beat up right now. She didn't show you. She she got bit by something and it all swole up and then she scratched it and. What do you want? Has nothing to do with mech switching, but it's a cat and cats are cool. At least this one is. All right, so uh, we want to open File Explorer and enter this address store. Now you can just actually just grab this and uh, copy and paste it in. This this little percentage thing here uh, kind of helps you find where it needs to be, right? It it'll give you a little bit of variability on your system. But I've already got it opened here. Oh well, actually, you know what? We'll just we'll just do it the way I said. We're going to paste it in. There it goes. Um, no, just right there. I don't want the other. Now. What it says is to go there and then remove input INI and game user settings dot INI and then reset the game. Jello, you're just gonna have to wait, baby. Out of the way. However, you will notice that there is no game user settings or input INI here. They are in Windows and Windows No Editor. It does not tell us which one it wants us to go to. However, if we come into here, I'm gonna move. Oh, that's not the right one. Let's uh let's move. Now, let's lock that one in place. Come on, this one. There we go. I know. Move me out of the way here. Struggling a little bit against the white backdrop. I apologize. Um, you'll see that there's a game user setting here. And if we open that, you will see that it shows a mech cockpit field view of 120 and a third person view of 120, which is how I have mine set up right now. Um, if we were to go into Windows, just straight Windows, and we look at game user settings, it's set for the default of 90. So I'm not sure which of these we need to replace. I'm going to start with the one I have built. So I'm going to go ahead and delete game user settings, and I'm going to delete input, which is the other one. And we're going to close that out, and we're going to open the game up, and we're going to see if it works for us. All right, now that we're entered back in the game, you can see it has reset the EULA agreement for us because we deleted those two settings. So we're gonna go ahead and do there. Um, and I'm gonna jump back into where I was, um, which, let's see, load. This one. Um, let's go, ooh, let's just try this. I just jumped from my campaign storyline that we're playing for the regular one over to another planet real quick and jumped into a fight. but. Um, I don't know if jumping straight into the mission is a good idea. So let's just kind of, we'll just do a contract. Um, it doesn't matter. We're not saving it. We're just accepting some stuff. Um, we'll get rid of that and that. We'll get us some healthy pilots. Uh, how about you know, a lieutenant and a lieutenant? And we don't want the quick draw. We'll go with, I don't know, how about a hunchback? So we've got three mechs, three pilots to get under 160, and we'll go ahead and drop. All right, we are out here. Now, um, I'm going to hit the little Y and see what happens. And there we go. It now works. So I hit the letter Y, and everything switches around. I'm curious as to whether it now shows up in the actual control keyboard settings, because it didn't on mine before. Um, and in fact, we do look at it in tomorrow's episode, which was recorded last night, and I could not find it. Uh, I'm just looking for Y right now to see if it shows up over here on the right somewhere. Um, I'm not seeing it yet. There it is. It was not in the one yesterday, I don't believe. I think we just ended with um, the air scope stuff. So it does appear to work. Um, so that's the fix action. Uh, just go ahead and run in to follow the settings, go to the Windows No Editor, delete your game user settings, 
and your input.ini files uh, and just jump back in the game. So if you do have settings um, that were set, so for instance, I had um, display. Yeah, I had adjusted these to 120. I'm going to knock them back up. And, uh, and we'd done things like turn off aim assist. Good, it's off. All right. Um, yeah, and so you can just kind of, you may have to reset some of your settings. Uh, and that's perfectly okay, but that's how you do it. So if it's not working for you, that's the fix action. Thanks for watching, guys. Uh, thumbs up, thumbs down. And uh, don't forget to subscribe if you'd like to watch our campaign as we play through the new uh, content um, from the, whatever the heck it's called. I keep wanting to call it Crescent Hawks. <laughs> the Kestrel Lancers DLC from Warrior 5. We'll see you next time. Cheers. Thank <laughs> you.